and welcome to the winter edition of Currents, Ocean TV 20's hotspot for everything OCC. I'm your host, Alex Apollonia. At Currents, we'll give you the latest on-campus events, meet exceptional students, and get an insight into student life at OCC. Today, we'll take a look inside the performing arts and the dance programs Ocean County College has to offer. We'll meet the professors, go behind the scenes, look at the choreography rehearsals, hear from the dancers, and see highlights of the recent dance concert at OCC. Here in the studio are dance professors Jacqueline West Farbman, the ballet and dance appreciation instructor, and Kara Fiedler, who teaches jazz and modern dance at Ocean County College. Hello, ladies, and thank you for joining us. So tell us a little bit about your dance careers and your professional background in the field. Jackie, we'll start with you. Well, I started dancing at age four, doing acrobatic and tap dance classes and also some ballet from a French teacher, and I even liked her French accent. <laughs> um, then I went on, didn't keep dancing constantly, but at University of California at Irvine, I took dance classes, and I was actually a French major there. I think the ballet class in French influenced that. <laughs> And I, I went on after college to join a dance company in California, and a New York artist, a famous dancer, Charles Weidman, came and had me do some of the lead roles, and he encouraged me to come to New York City, and I was, I was astonished. I had never had that type of feedback before, so I went and tried it. I moved from California to New York City, auditioned, and got into three dance companies and went even on into a Broadway show, an off-Broadway show, doing some jazz dance too. And after that, I went into teaching uh, in New York City and then later here at OCC, and I off and on perform occasionally too. And Kara, what about you? Like most little girls, started off in dancing school, ballet, the tap, and jazz. Uh, eventually, my dance studio teachers in introduced me to modern dance. Uh, I actually met Jackie through the Ocean County Teen Arts Festival. She, along with another one of my teachers, um, kind of led me to uh, go off to college and earn my BFA, which I did do at SUNY Purchase. Uh, after Purchase, I performed with different modern dance companies, small modern dance companies in the city for about six years before I went into teaching full time and started a family. Now, Kara, what is dance to you? Is it a feeling that comes from deep inside, or is it all just about learning and repeating a variety of steps? Well, to me, dance is always motivated by a feeling, whether the feeling be emotional or physical. I, I like and it excites me when movement comes from natural physicality and you experience momentum and swing and suspension. Uh, however, as the beginner dancer, which is we are teaching a lot of beginners at OCC, you need to give them a solid base and a foundation in which to build on. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And Jackie, is it different for ballet? Well, in ballet, there's a, more of a sense of elegance, grace, and posture, which the students learn, and they can then carry that on into their regular life, too, to have that sense of confidence within their own body. But the main thing within the dancing, the, the reason I dance is to feel good and to express myself. Now let's talk about your dance classes at OCC. Jackie, what's the primary focus of your class and what is important for a student taking dance for the first time? Well, students at OCC do not have to have any prerequisites. They can be a basic beginner dancer. They might not have ever done any ballet, jazz, or modern in their life and they can enter the class and feel confident that they'll be taught some of the basic steps. Uh, other dancers that are more experienced, they join in too. They might have had five, ten years of dance training. And they often learn from each other. The, to, to those that are more trained are sometimes role models. And then the beginners develop confidence within themselves through the practice of the class. But basically, you just have to come to class with a love of wanting to move, be physical, and enjoy yourself as you're moving. That's wonderful. I love that. Now, Kara, what about your classes? I mean, bottom line is I do want the kids to have a great time. I want them to feel good in their bodies, gain confidence, um, experience and experiment different ways of moving. Uh, like Jackie said, we do get a variety of levels, mm -hmm. so I, I stress that it's important that everybody be patient with each other, that everybody be open. 
I like the choreographic process to be a little bit collaborative, get them involved, um, make them feel a sense of ownership in what they're doing. Um, I just want it to be fun, a, a positive, fun experience. And very often my students who have never had any experience at all, after it's all said and done, they're shocked of, about what they're capable of. And you know, they just, it, it's a great process for all of, for everybody. Absolutely, well thank you ladies. And when we come back, we'll talk about new developing dance programs at OCC. Stay tuned. Why did you guys choose ballet over other types of dance? Um, well, I chose ballet because it's graceful and um, it makes you feel like a princess. Are you guys ready for tonight's show? Yes. yes. We're excited. <laughs> when dancing, do you get nervous? Um, sometimes, yes. Uh, is it more comfortable for you to be dancing in a classroom or on stage in front of an audience? Uh, comfort level, I definitely prefer a classroom, but I do love to perform. Why do you love to perform so much? Um, I just love being able to show everybody what I've learned and all the great techniques that we've learned from learning ballet. How long have you all been dancing? I've been dancing for 15 years. I've been dancing for 15 years also. <laughs> I recently just started dancing. I have never professionally danced in a studio, but now I recently just got into it. Only in like five years, I guess. I've been dancing my whole life. Some for fun, some for like just dance. <laughs> um, I started when I was nine, and then I stopped, and then I went back, and it's back and forth all the time. <laughs> I started when I was four, so basically my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about dancing? I think it's meeting people. Yeah. yeah. I know that the one night we all went out to Applebee's that and like as a huge group we bonded so much and like the oh, connections and the really friendships did. Like, that you made. <laughs> yeah, like we'll take dance trips and we'll like go out with our friends and like making a connection, like forming a bond, like mm -hmm. they're like my family now. Right. That's yeah. the most yeah. important thing. Are you ready for tonight's performance? Yeah. 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 <laughs> How would you say you prepare yourself mentally and physically? Mentally, I would say it's always about thinking what you need to be doing next and not what you're currently doing. Yeah. 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 It's a lot about just like enjoying yourself, letting yourself be like free in the moment. If you think too much, you mess up. Mm -hmm. Just like, I don't know, just get pumped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Having a lot of fun with it is important. Like if you don't have fun, like why are you even like here dancing, yeah. you know? Yeah. And physically, you'll see us all stretching all around the building, mm -hmm. eating, eating makeup. almonds, yeah, makeup. Yeah. Everyone's in the back doing their makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fifty different costumes. Yeah. 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 Costumes ready, like lined up perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is disappointing. I know you can do much better than this. Okay. Thanks. Hey, how'd you do? Another D. I just don't understand why I'm not getting it. I study the material, but it's just not making any sense. I suppose you aced it as usual. Not always. When I had trouble with class, I went online with Grade Results. Grade Results has the online tutoring, writing services, and help with homework that every college student needs to succeed. With one-on-one -on -one tutoring via live chat, Grade Results lets you work with a real person 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now that's more like it. Big improvement. Need help with your college courses? For just twelve fifty per half hour, Grade Results can help you make the grade. For more information, stop by the Ocean County College Bookstore or log on to ocean.edu slash bookstore. Look who's the ace now. I signed up for Grade Results at the OCC Bookstore. Welcome back to Ocean Currents. We're talking with Jackie West Farman and Kara Fiedler from the School of Performing Arts at OCC. Jackie, let's talk about your students. I'm sure they're motivated by the love of dance. Have any gone on to build a career in dance? Well, actually, some have. Uh, two come out into my mind very quickly. One is Melanie Kramer, and she was my student here about 15 years ago, maybe more, because I've been here a long time. Uh, she uh, was actually dance club president for two years when she was here, and then went to Rutgers University and went on to New York City to dance in several dance companies. She's actually still performing today, but I recommended her to come here as an adjunct faculty. She taught here for a while, and then I recommended her to take over a full-time performing 
arts teaching job that I had had at Howell High School Performing Arts, and she's doing that now. And a second student, a young man, because there are men in dance too. Absolutely. We don't, we don't want to just have <laughs> girls in the class, so please come out to the classes, boys. Um, and he is David Felici. He took ballet and jazz from me, and he also took jazz from Kara. And he went on to dance ballet at the Nutmeg Conservatory in Connecticut and was in some modern companies in New York and Connecticut, then went to Georgian Court to get a degree and is now teaching at the Vocational Technical School at Lakehurst. Wow. So we've had uh, them as wonderful students. Wonderful. Now, Kara, tell us what it takes to become a successful dancer. To be a professional dancer, it takes countless hours in the studio, um, lots of uh, bruises and, and blisters <laughs> and a tough skin to handle rejection. Uh, mm -hmm. You go out and you audition, you know, for every audition, for every hundred audition you get, you know, you might get one job. So you need to have a tough skin. I mean, but everybody is a dancer. Everybody, you know, if you love to move, you, you can dance. Yes, so I agree. It depends <laughs> on what capacity you're talking. But, you know, we like to encourage everybody to get out and move and dance and have fun. Well, very impressive, both of you. So, Jackie, are there any new courses in development uh, in the future? Yes, and actually our performing arts option is new at OCC. You can major in dance, drama, or music, dance theater or music. Yeah. And what we've done in the dance program is develop a new course called Dance Appreciation. It's an online course that I wrote, and it will be offered very soon. There you can study dance styles of the whole world, hip-hop, uh, jazz, modern ballet, wow. and <laughs> salsa. A little bit of everything. Any th club dancing. We do a lot in that course. You don't have to have any dance experience. It's just mainly watching dance. And as long as you like dance, in some way, shape, or form, you can take that course. Uh, also, we've developed the performance classes. Modern 2 is being offered. And Jazz 2 is in development, which will be coming up in the future. Very nice. My last question is for both of you. Is there any difference in a student's performance in the classes versus performing in front of an audience? Well, a live audience always brings an extra element of excitement. Um, you know, you, as a performer, you feed off of your audience's energy. But I always try to stress to my students that in the studio is where you not only you know, improve your technical aspect of your performance, but also, you know, what you intend to bring to it emotionally. Yes. You need to, you know, there's little moments in every piece that you do where you need to make conscious choices. Um, you know, whether you're going to be external or internal or where you need to be feeding off of your fellow dancers or, you know, those kind of things. So I try to make them work on their performance quality all the time, but you know, the excitement of being on the live stage with a live audience is just very, very different and um, exciting, it's exciting. Jackie, what's your take on that? Well, in ballet uh, and in other dance classes, sometimes students feel more comfortable in the classroom. They can relax a little bit. You don't have the pressure of being on stage, and you have the mirror to get feedback from as well as the teacher. But being on stage adds that little special something that you have the lights on you, and you then can communicate mm -hmm. to the audience and feel that through your body, which is less of a personal experience. It's more of a sharing of oneself. Excellent. And there's nothing like that moment when the curtain goes up and the lights are on you, right? It's magical. So thank you very much uh, for sharing and your great work in the art of dance. If you want to know more about dance classes at OCC, you can stop into Student Life located in the Student Center or log onto the college's website. What are the benefits of being in dance club? Um, you get to make a lot of friends. Um, the connection you make through dancing with these people is always eternal. You could always leave for a couple years and even if you're not there forever, you could come right back and be welcomed in with open arms. Yeah, definitely. All he said. I mean, it, when it comes down to it, it's more than just friends. It's kind of like a family. You just get that connection, and it's just, it feels like you're at home. Being a boy in dance club, what is different? How does it feel? Um, well, it's definitely easier to connect with the girls a lot. Um, you personally get to experience what a girl would normally go through because being a family that will always open up and talk to you about it so that's one thing great being able to connect with your friends not only through dance but on a more personal level 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely like an eye-opening experience. I mean, just suddenly just being, you know, surrounded by someone who identifies themselves as different as you, it's, it's really, you know, kind of mind-blowing to see what everyone else is going through. And how does dancing make you feel? Uh, great. Whenever I'm having some sort of bad day, I always look toward dance to push out my emotions. It helps me be a better performer, and it helps me cope with whatever I'm going through in life. I mean, dance just really... Because, you know, it's like that exit road, you know? when Whenever something's going on, or you got extra stress, or you just need to relax, just dance it out. That's what you got to do. Thank you. Okay, what's your favorite type of dance? Well, my favorite type of dance is hip-hop, just because I like to, like, let loose and, yeah. <laughs> let it go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, my favorite is, like, modern and contemporary. I nice like it. It's very fluid and graceful, and it's very expressive. My favorite's actually ballet, though. Yeah. She's our ballerina. I'm yes, ballerina. she is. <laughs> <laughs> I like all kinds. I like wearing different things and wearing new steps, like from jazz, mm -hmm. hip hop, to contemporary, lyrical, modern. Like it's all different and like something fun. Like I love to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love being thrown into like different styles of dance that I've like never even known about. Mm -hmm. It like shows me other people's styles. It's yeah. Cool. I like jazz and hip hop. Like she said, I just like to <laughs> move. <laughs> What are the benefits of expressing yourself through dance? I know for like me and a lot of my friends, like we've been through hard times and dance is what kind of like put us back together. Like we found a home in it and especially with contemporary, which is my favorite, it's, it's so expressive that you can like show your emotion, you can like get out like pain and like your feeling and even like happy emotions. Like you get it all out and you express it and everyone around that's everyone around you sees it. And feels so it's really yeah. yeah, you can feel I agree it. with the emotion. Yeah. yeah, like definitely. in Miles Solo, like yes. we all get chills for that because mm -hmm. it's so emotional and, and we feel the story yeah. behind it. Yeah. yeah, or like if you like if you're angry at someone and you don't want to actually like express yourself in front of them and you just dance. Mm -hmm. You just dance. So you like, okay. it it's out. therapy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's therapy. therapy. Uh, <laughs> think about it. Oh. Yeah. When we come back, we'll meet with the dance club president who will give us her perspective on this wonderful art of self-expression. Stay with us. What's wrong, doctor? It started out as stress, it escalated into book biitis, and now it's the worst case of sticker shock I've ever seen. Is there a cure? His only hope is to sign up for Viking Bucks at the Ocean County College Bookstore. Warning, side effects for signing up for the Viking Bucks reward program. Allow OCC students to save money, earn points, buy stuff, and redeem online. For every $1 you spend on textbooks, get $1 in Viking Bucks to spend any way you want on books, clothing, or other cool merchandise. You'll even earn points by selling back used textbooks. Plus, get 50 Viking Bucks just for signing up. Restrictions may apply. So how are you feeling today? Since I signed up for Viking Bucks, I have cash in my pocket and all this free stuff. Viking Bucks is the prescription for what ails you. Sign up before you become a victim of sticker shock. Visit the OCC Bookstore online at bookstore.ocean.edu. Welcome back to Ocean Currents. Today we are talking about all things dance. Here in the studio is an OCC student who is also the dance club president, Kelly Faxon. She represents a different side of dance education less formal and more for self-enjoyment. Welcome to the show, Kelly. Thanks for having me. So tell us about the Dance Club. Uh, Dance Club is a student-run organization where choreographers, like myself as president, um, choreograph dances for an end of semester show. Um, it contains, it's like an hour and a half show and um, we do all styles of dance and everyone's welcome. Now, how do you join the Dance Club? Do you have to take a class at OCC or have any experience? Experience is not necessary, but we say it's probably a good idea to have a little bit of experience because we only have three months to get ready for a whole show. Um, you don't have to take any Ocean County College dance classes prior to joining. Um, and yeah, everyone's welcome. So Kelly, how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for 16 years, uh -huh. uh, since <laughs> I was three years old. Yes, I've been dancing at Lillian Dean Dance Studio in Tom's River. And yeah, so that's my experience. What are your favorite types of dance? Um, well, when I was little, I was a big time tapper. 
Um, I loved tap dancing. Uh, but now um, I study contemporary jazz, ballet, modern, hip hop, you name it. Now, what is dance to you? Is it a variety of moves you learn and then just repeat, or is it a feeling that you get within? For me, it is a very empowering um, experience uh, to create something with your body and express uh, your emotions through Absolutely. your movement. Uh, for new dancers, it's more of just putting movements together and learning the steps. But um, yeah, more advanced dancers, it, it's a lot more than that. So please, Kelly, tell us what it feels like when you're dancing. What's the feeling you get? Um, it's indescribable. Um, when you have an entire audience out there coming to watch you do what you love, um, there's no other feeling like it. Um, it's just it's my favorite thing to do. Now, do you get nervous performing in front of an audience? Is dancing in the studio different from performing in front of a live audience? Most definitely. Um, <laughs> I've been dancing for, I said, 16 years, but I still get nervous before going on stage. But it's not a negative emotion. It's more of an excited uh, feeling. And dancing in my studio, it, it's like my home. So it's my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, I can experiment there and do, do my thing every day. But uh, getting on stage, it's definitely, it, I get a little nervous. Now, how do you prepare yourself for a show? and deal with the pressure of being on stage? Um, well, in dance club especially, um, I believe in over-rehearsing. So um, we run the dances a million and five times so that when by the time we get on stage, uh, we know it inside out and backwards and we can just feel it and have mm -hmm. fun. Um, some professors don't think that, or instructors don't think that um, over-rehearsing is a good idea so that it's more um, raw on stage but I think that over-rehearsing is sometimes best. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what is it like to be a choreographer? Is it a rewarding experience? And what do you like the most about teaching dance? It's definitely rewarding. Um, once upon a time, uh, I was like a sophomore <laughs> in high school. I wanted to be a dancer, like, you know, be a rock head on Broadway. Um, however, now um, I'd actually rather teach and choreograph because I get to see um, my dancers like build this piece and then go on stage and feel confident about themselves and it's just a beautiful thing. And my last question Kelly, uh, can you address all those who may be thinking about learning how to dance? What are the benefits of joining the dance club? Well dance club is a safe environment for everyone to come and express themselves and learn something new. Um, it's a no judgment zone. Uh, we have about 45 members right now and we're always looking for more. Um, and yeah, I'd encourage anyone to come out and learn how to dance because everybody has it in them. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, thank you, Kelly, for joining us. Oh, of course. It was my pleasure. If you want to know more about the Dance Club, you could stop into Student Life located in the Student Center or log on to the college's website and click on Clubs tab in Ocean Cruiser. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching Ocean TV 20. All the dedication, discipline, and training comes down to one single moment, the live performance. We'll hear from the dancers before and after their performances. Hi, my name is Michaela Gatto. I've been dancing since I was two. And the one thing I love about Dance Club is the fact that Kelly and Kate are amazing and I had such a great welcoming coming to dance club and I really enjoy every minute of it. It's a great time and everybody should join. It's a lot of fun. Why did you all join dance club? Uh, well, I joined dance club because basically when you graduate high school you kind of graduate from your dance studio. So when you come to college it's a good way to keep dancing. So that's why I joined. <laughs> that's the same reason. I want to continue dancing and like she said, it's like once you graduate high school it's kind of you're not just, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah, same reason. Just like they said. It's, um, I also wanted to do it because I wanted to be involved in something. So, I 
wanted to make friends that have the same passion as I do. Honestly, I joined Dance Club as a spur of the moment thing because, I mean, <laughs> I love music and all, but I was like, I wanted something new, something you know, exciting. So I was just like, Dance Club sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I definitely wanted to continue my journey of dancing since I've been doing it for so long and I just want to keep doing it for as long as I can. So I definitely enjoy it. How do you join Dance Club? Um, we really just show up to our first practice. There's no requirements to be a part of Dance Club. Uh, you don't have to have any dance experience, although we do like people to have dance experience. But uh, our whole group has dancers of all different types of experience. So. And how do you deal with nerves before a show like this? Just shake it off. Yeah, shake it off. That's it. Just yeah. nothing you really can do, you know? Yeah. You're going to get nervous. All the time. Are you ready for tonight's performance? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely ready. Yeah. We put Very a lot excited. of hard work into it, so we're ready. What are the benefits of dancing? The benefits of dancing is you can do something kind of athletic, but more like flowy, more girly, more like, more manly. well not girly, it's girly <laughs> and manly, but it's like more of like an art, but it's not like a sport, like an athlete. Yeah, you definitely. stay fit, yeah. you stay fit, definitely. Mm -hmm. You're always going, and you're always motivated, so you always stay fit, and like that's the best thing. Yeah, yeah. So. and with, with sports, it's a lot more technical. So yeah. with arts, you know, you can put your own feel into it. You can't do that with sports. Yeah. What's your favorite type of dance? Um, well, I'm a tapper. I've been a tapper since I was little, so, yeah. I love jazz. Like, it's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, lyrical, contemporary, definitely my favorite. I like doing, like, hip-hop and, like, ballet and... Tap. Hip-hop. <laughs> How do you prepare yourselves mentally and physically for these shows? Well, we had a lot of rehearsals over the past week. Um, all of these guys have been working really hard. Um, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, but it's all worth it. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of blood. Yeah. <laughs> you come home feeling very sore after working, but it's worth it in the end because when you have a show like this, it's like amazing. Like you feel really good about yourself. Yeah, definitely. And I'm the crazy one doing the planks and the push-ups and jumping jacks and whatever backstage where I go on mentally. Like I lock myself in my bubble and like we go, ready to go, we're going. <laughs> That's me. How do you feel when you're dancing? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> dance is uh, a really indescribable feeling. Um, you know, there's the obvious high when you're performing on stage, but um, when you're truly in love with something like dance and it's your passion and it's just where you want to be, um, it's, it's, you feel like you're flying. You know what I mean? It's like you feel you're where you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You feel powerful, you feel strong, you feel light as air and yeah, you're in love with it. It's like indescribable. Mm -hmm. How amazing it is. I told you she's talking about Yeah. <laughs> Are you girls ready for tonight? Oh yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, I'm just glad everyone's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> it feels good working so hard and finally doing a show like this, like and showing everyone how hard we have worked. So Yeah, you can't compare being on stage with the lights and the audience and you can't compare. To close our show, we have highlights of the recent dance performance at OCC's Jay and Linda Grunin Center for the Arts. Thanks for watching Ocean Currents. I'm your host, Alex Apollonia. We'll see you next time.